welcome to part seven so what's happening here you might say well I'll just take you around the model right now nothing's been glued at this point and I just want you to get a good idea of what I'm talking about because I don't particularly want to move it right now so what have we got here well the book says and I shall read from the book okay remove the undercarriage template from sheet 5 which is this here and insert the front undercarriage wire legs into the slot behind F2 and the rear legs in the slot of F15 and F16 ensure that the wires are up against the fuse large sides tape the template between the front carriage legs forward of the wire ensuring the top of the template is up against the fuse large that the undercarriage legs are against the template i.e. use the tape to pull the legs together uh, place the undercarriage winglets into the build, building board pin down whilst at the same time support the rear of the fuse large there like that okay Let's carry on. Uh, to support the really fuse slides though, it is level either by the use of a spirit level in the gun bay. Like that. By the way, you can get these on eBay. They're the dirt cheap. Um, okay, let's carry on. Or uh, the height, so blah, 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 blah. Floor to check that the this is level or set to a height to the top of the rearmost part of fuselage to a height of 121 millimeters from the building board. So for you, those of you that don't use millimeters, it's 12 centimeters, one millimeter, which this is. So I'm having to use my tape, a little bit of scrap balsa and my uh, sharpener. And it does come out 12.1. Okay. Check that the uh, undercarriage subwing is square and central the fuselage and then apply two part epoxy glue to the joints between the under undercarriage legs and the wing assembly and allow to fully set do not stick the undercarriage to the fuselage at this point once the glue is fully set remove the undercarriage assembly so what we're doing is we're gluing everything here and here with epoxy letting it set and then taking it out um, because it's not going to be a great idea to leave it in like it is, I can see that myself. Uh, and then later on, we've got to locate and remove 30, 132nd parts LG10 times 2 and LG11 times 2 from sheet 9. Stick the parts into position between the ribs shown uh, around both undercarriage legs on each side uh, LG10 at the front and LG11 at the rear. Well, we'll come back to that. Well, so, what I'm going to do now is let me see if we get this right. We're going to fill this in with epoxy either side. Now it looks to be square on to my eye and I hope to yours. And it is level with the gun bay. Uh, so that's another reason why you need to ensure that you put that in level with the top of the fuselage when you when you put it in and that is at 12.1 so i'm quite happy with that so i'm going to put that glue in uh, off camera because it's going to get messy right so the uh the resin's gone off now and all you got to do is put these lg11 and lg10 on either side and you just you just wick them in I just bend over the width of them in it's not a big deal you, you need some tweezers for that it's rather interesting to note that uh, it stands up on its own <laughs> anyway it looks like it's the wheels next so let's have a look at that so the next part is making the wheels so this is one I made earlier do you know I've always wanted to say that this is one I've made earlier so this is what you're going to end up with so to achieve that, um, what you've got to do is there's some aluminium tube in the box. 
is cut two pieces at nine millimeters long and then you'll have these which are w1 there's three w1s and what you got to do is basically put them like that okay and we have got to put it like that and put it like that so you're sort of balancing it out a little bit then you get the w2 and they're both marked with a cross one of them has to go on the inside so you can't see the cross and the other one goes on the outside so you can see the cross and then you apply w3 which is these and then you add epoxy resin to them you've got to make sure that the aluminium tube let's get this all the way through can be a little bit fiddly if you're doing this with the camera in front of you there you go let it go in come on that's it there you go and then of course the crosses go on the inside I don't think it particularly matters if it goes on the inside or not but it says put them on the inside so there you go and it says allow five millimeters to stick out the other end so you can push that tube in a little bit so not five millimeters half a millimeter I don't quite know how you're going to measure half a millimeter but anyway there you go uh, so there you are that's what you do and you glue them all together and then once you've done that you put w3 on where the ends are touching the aluminium tube you put epoxy in here you then get the rubber tube now i did have one at hand where has it got here it is and you cut that i think it says 139 millimeters millimeters so it's 13.9 millimeters glue it together and then you just pop it in there like that and then you end up with this and that takes you all the way to the next construction which is the uh, the front cowl uh, and they're going to step one there so that's what you've got to do to get the wheels together and uh, I'll probably leave it there actually because I'm not really sure how many minutes we've got left if we've got some left I'll probably start the next bit anyway I'll have to uh, pop this together and um, see you in the next part right I've decided to patch this on the end because I think I can do this one quite quickly um, now in the destructions it says to locate parts C1 through to C6 from sheet 21 and cow parts cowl parts C7 to C9 uh, which I think is sheet 22 it doesn't tell me here like Kate plywood C10 used earlier to align F1 and F2, which is this piece here. So, you know, I hope you haven't thrown that away. Uh, place, uh, place C2 on a flat surface, insert C10, which is that, into the horizontal slot. Add parts C3 to, through to C9, slotting them into the plywood tongue, making sure that they are in the correct order, like this. Check the three holes aligned along the lower curved inner edges before wicking. CE, CA to all joints before the cowl parts, including the plywood part. Then, let's make sure we've got this right because there's a photo of, stick that through again, into there, that's right. C9 being the last one. So it should have something. That's C2. Take C2 out. Something looks like this. Ah, I see what happened. Yeah. So if you put that back and then put that on top like that, we should have an identical image to the photograph so c1 actually they don't mark c1 you have to look it up with the, uh, the paperwork so yeah okay that looks fine to me uh, this goes all the way through 
So all you got to do is put that through, cement all of these together, take the front part, line that up, it seems by eye, okay, making sure this dotted line is to the front because you're going to use that I think for sanding uh, and then glue that and then you've got to turn it over and you have to take a three mil dowel which they supply and stick it in there like that and oops where's it gone there it is and stick that there in that like that and this lines up with the fuselage a little bit later and I think that will probably do for this episode and I will glue them all together now let's see just before I go stick C1 to the front of the cowl which is this one lining up the holes which is pretty simple uh, ensuring that the three holes in C1 line up the holes on C2 which they do make sure that the etch lines face forwards which they do uh, let me show this one that was as they are used to guide how the cowl is shaped so it seems to me that according to this photograph you've got to shape it no further than that going this way it's a pity it's not perfectly circular you can put that in the drill and put a sanding block on it and just rotate it until it's right a bit like a lathe Loquette supplied one eighth through a millimeter dowel and cut two lengths, stick them into the one eighth of millimeter holes in the rear of the cow, ensuring that they are square with the rear of the cow. So that's that. Okay, and that's what they show. So it's going to be the next part is going to be shaping this using the plan and the etched lines at the front as a guide. Carefully shape the front of the cow to help with the shape of the rear part of the cowl. Place it into the front of the fuselage, locating the dowel pegs into the holes into the front of bulkhead, and then blend the rear of the cowl to the fuselage when the cowl has been shaped to give the surface a final finish with a fine grade of sandpaper. Right, well, just one second there. Because according to that, this should line up with that hole there and that hole there. So just while I'm in the mood to do it, right, let's take that front one off just for a second. That plywood's got to go in that slot. So what I'm going to suggest is it will go in, but that is such a tight fit that I will have to take those dowels out, give them a little bit of a glass papering, and that then should fit straight in. And this ply here fits into that slot like that. So it's only a case of making those dowel, dowels fit, which I'm sure they will. Let's take the rest of this off. So that should fit on snugly like that. So it's just a case of pushing those in really. You can, don't want to break the model. No. So what we're going to do is we're going to slightly sand those. That'll all go with this tong here into that slot there this and it's just the dowels that are stopping it and that gets glued on the front there so that's to me that'll be right and then we can start sanding it and uh, I'll have a go at that okay and then oh let's see it see goes on there like that okay so I'll make those dowels fit and I'll come back to you. So I've uh, made sure that the dowels fit now a bit more cleanly. It's a very uh, tight fit there as with most things with this kit. Um, didn't seem to be much in the way of tolerance. But anyway, that's not entirely a bad thing. 
So what needs to be done now is just that this needs to be shaped and obviously that will be like watching paint dry uh, if I was to do that on camera. Uh, take quite a long time too and uh, it's still standing on its own. I, uh, I need to take that uh, undercarriage out or as I like to call it a winglet. Okay I think that is actually enough now for the uh, for this episode so thank you for bearing with me hopefully uh, uh, soon I'll be able to have this shaped up for you and uh, show you what it looks like. Um, I'm not going to glue this onto the fuzz at the moment and uh, until I really need to um, and then we'll just see how it turns out. Thank you for watching. See you in part eight.